so again, another vlog. Hello guys, I'm back. It was probably maybe, I'd like to guess two days, if not a day and a half. Currently maybe two days since the last vlog. It's maybe four in the morning that I'm guessing. I want to believe that the last vlog was Tuesday morning, but I was talking about Monday night. Somewhere around there, but still. This is the pros and cons video. I think I did one back a year ago when I first started at Old Chicago, but sorry that it's a little dark. It's the morning, literally. The sun hasn't came up yet, and I decided I want... Uh, well, shit. No, yeah. I decided I wanted to literally be out because I can't sleep, and uh, that train. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I just couldn't fall asleep, so I'm choosing to skate all the way from where I live in a sense all the way to city park past the capital and hopefully in time get to the destination I want to get to by the sunrise because what I'm planning on doing currently right now it's around 4 a.m. like I just said Thursday yeah I'm gonna talk about the last two days that happened I, I hate thinking about time in general but I'm, I'm trying to get perfect timing to the sunrise and to get a good picture on the Instagram that is dabbing dishwasher I'll get to the pros and cons in the end but thank you all my viewers my subscribers it means a lot Tuesday was great me and Charles killed it it was just me and him I got into work each day that I'm getting into work, I'm kind of a little late. And I didn't know, looking at the schedule, I was supposed to be at work at 3. So I've been a, an hour late, in a sense, each day. Not that that's bad. It's just worrying. It's having the management and my bosses just a tad bit worried. They call me, and I didn't know. I just didn't know really I was supposed to be at work an hour early I thought I was going to be working at Texas Roadhouse from 4 to close I'll tell you the reason why they have me coming in early soon in a couple minutes but I'm just going to tell you how each day went until now Tuesday was great walked into work well before each shift to Texas Roadhouse I go to Old Chicago get my boots and once I get into Texas Roadhouse there's there hasn't been dishes like there usually is my boss told me he's trying to have everybody that preps or somebody pitch in or yeah, not necessarily pit, pitch in, but step up and kind of do some of the dishes in the morning. So it's not stockpiled with stuff. And that's really cool because there's not always a morning dishwasher or a dishwasher usually doing or doing what we need to do. Washing dishes before our shift. That's why when we get into a shift, most dishwashers, there's piles of dishes. There's 
a lot of shit to watch. Yet, like I always say, there's literally always going to be piles of dishes, depending on if you're a really fast dishwasher, thoroughly cleaner, and you just have the mindset like me, they're all going to get washed at some point. The pile around you where you can't walk, all those dishes that are dirty, everything, pots, pans, cups, silverware, I'm trying to think, containers, anything, everything. It'll be all around you, piled, but yes, it may be dirty, yes, it may be a little stressful at first, but we as dishwashers will knock it down, all of that, whether it's only us washing dishes or if we have help. I'm happy and, in a sense, glad that I have help at Texas Roadhouse. Not that I know I would be able to knock it all down by myself, but it would be very busy for me. No doubt, beyond compare. Each day that I've been working, aside from when I first started, there's three dishwashers. Usually, there is three on a weekend. Um, and I'll talk to you about that soon, before the, I start the pros and cons. Tuesday was great. Me and Charles, we killed it. We were there by ourselves, just me and him. And he was good. He was fucking... He killed it. We both killed it. The restaurant closes at 10, and we got done at 11. We left the restaurant, everything clean, at 11.30. So I still went to Old Chicago, got some drinks, did something. Chilled at Old Chicago like I usually do. It was a good Tuesday. It was very busy. Way busier than my usual shifts at Old Chicago. But once I came in... Wednesday, or, yeah, no, I might be talking about Monday, but, because the shift that just passed was a Wednesday shift, so it couldn't have been Tuesday, it was the Monday shift, me, Charles, we killed it, because it was literally just me, Charles, oh, okay, sorry, Monday, it was just me, Charles, and Adrian, the guy that, in a sense, trained me and taught me how to put everything in the dish pit. Ever, all the, he, yeah, he's a good dishwasher, Adrian is. It was just me, Charles, and Adrian. The first day on Monday, Charles did great. Then Tuesday, it was me, Charles, and I know it was... Shane if it wasn't me Charles and Shane then it was just me and Shane I'm trying to think of it I'm not really trying to think of it too much but we're all good dishwashers I don't know who washes dishes for Texas Roadhouse on the weekends but those days Friday Saturday and Sunday are very busy so everybody says and I do not doubt that excuse me each day that I've worked at Texas Roadhouse is busy, no doubt. Way busier than old Chicago. Now, when me and Shane worked, I don't think Charles was there. He probably was, or probably wasn't. I don't remember. But each day that I'm working with somebody, we're killing it. Making those dishes our bitch. Somebody's on the other side of the dishwasher, whether it's putting the dishes away, scrubbing and soaking whatever dishes are caked with whatever sauces, ingredients, just whatever. They're caked with food, and we clean that so it can be ran through. Whoever is spraying the dishes clean, and putting them through the dishwasher as the cups as well. No matter if we all, or 
constant and moving and have our own like routine we'll get done at least 11 45 hopefully earlier there's a time we got out at exactly 11. i'm trying to shoot for 10 30. it's gonna happen because the restaurant closes at 10 but it'll happen soon Wednesday, the shift that just passed, it was me and Adrian, which was really great, really fucking killer. Adrian was, well, Adrian is a good dishwasher. There is some cons I could talk about when me and him are washing, but we're literally fast and we make everything clean. How... That, like it's supposed to be you can't always be fast but it's it's good to be fast and clean everything thoroughly make sure everything is rinsed and scraped clean or sprayed clean before it gets put through the dishwasher this Thursday I know the day that I'm recording right now is gonna be a good shift because it's gonna be me and Charles and the other dishwasher, Eric. Now, the reason why they're gonna start having three, I think it's gonna be for only two weeks, but the shifts that I'm at, there's gonna be three dishwashers because one of them is called Muck. I don't know why it's Muck, but what that person does, who's ever scheduled doing that, because when there's usually somebody spraying, putting everything through, there's someone on the other end, putting that clean stuff away, scraping things clean. But if there's a third person, there's that third person who's obviously maybe standing or advising the other dishwashers on doing something or just telling each other how things are supposed to be done. Because we're all kind of fairly new, me, Eric, and Charles. But being the third person, the muck, they are having that person, if they're not standing around but not having anything to do, since it gets busy, not a lot of the busters can bust their tables. They, they do, but they leave the bus tub on the dish area. They don't bust the whole tub. Take the cups out, the rags out, silverware. And that's what the muck is going to do. Take all those out and help everyone, in a sense. Have a rotation and where everybody gets helped out. And I feel like they're going to probably take the bus tubs from the front line and the expo line. But that's what's going to happen. There's going to be three dishwashers just so when there's a third person on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the busiest days... That muck, the person that gets the bus tubs and helps out more than the other two that are really constantly moving, everything will go fine. Now, here is some pros and cons of the restaurant industry, being a dishwasher in general. If you're by yourself, that's just it. That's kind of a con, but some pros to it. It's a con because... You can't, you, you're literally not getting help. That's just it. You're doing everything yourself, running everything through, scraping stuff, soaking stuff. It's literally just you. Whether you're fast or really thoroughly cleaning, stuff will get backed up because it's just you. You can't do everything all at once. You don't have multiple arms, multiple clones. Yeah, as soon as you're putting stuff through, you're taking stuff out, putting it in its, in its exact spot, whether it's plates, pans, even silverware. You're doing it all by yourself. There's no help. But you'll get it done at the end of the night. That's if you're by yourself. Know this, guys. Being the only dishwasher in for whatever restaurant, you'll get it done. Now... The pros for that is that you're just, you're by yourself, 
in a sense, but you're doing your own thing. You're in your own world, your own groove. You don't have somebody else like, stressing about how you're doing your thing. You're, it's just you. It's great to have help, no doubt. It helps a lot having a second dishwasher, if not three. Because when there's a second person, you're, you both are literally working together, making sure everything is done twice as good and fast. Really, twice as fast as well. The second person washing dishes, putting stuff away, soaking, and it's really great. It does help. It's just when it's me and Adrian, we kill it, no doubt. He's fast as fuck, but he listens to music and his earphones, and he's just constantly moving. He, I don't want to say there's no communication, because there is, but if you have two people, you have to have good communication. You have to talk to each other, tell each other, oh, we're getting backed up on the other side, you're running stuff through too quickly, or you're not spraying stuff down good enough, and stuff is coming out of the dishwasher dirty still. You just gotta communicate. I could do that with Adrian, but I can't really. He listens to music and he, it's blaring in his ears. And he can't hear me or anything around him. He's just in his zone. As for if it's me and Shane, then we're both listening to music and we're still communicating. We don't have it on full blast and we're still talking to each other. I know we're not overflowing each other with racks that are full of dishes if you're on the second part putting everything away because that's sometimes what happens with me and Adrian. He's so quick, he pushes stuff through and at a good amount of times I get not stockpiled with dishes but a good amount of racks are overflowing, not really on top of each other overflowing but there's too much racks filled with clean dishes so I have to work twice as hard, twice as fast to empty those racks, put the dishes away, and yeah, just I gotta continue working. But it'll get better. If you're having help, no, that's twice as great. It's twice as good. Texas Roadhouse, man. I like it. Now, the pros and cons of being a dishwasher. The pros, you're cleaning everything. You're making sure everything around everybody is clean. Without you, the whole place can't run. Without two dishwashers, if there is more than one, it's not going to be on top of everything. Because people need plates. People need silverware, cups all that jazz if you're not up for washing dishes it's fine it's not for everyone now you just gotta know the pros and the happiness side about it you'll get it done and knocked down at the end of the night everything's gonna be clean because without you making everything clean that restaurant wouldn't be on top Yes, you're going to hear servers and a lot of people that work with you maybe yell, fight, argue because of whatever reason. Customers complain about food. Customers don't tip good enough. For whatever reason it is, it irritates people in the industry. But you got to be one of those dishwashers like me. Be positive and tell everybody, good job. We're all doing great. It's just another day. We all got this if it's a busy restaurant. I constantly do that. I constantly tell everybody, you're doing a great job. You're killing it. Hell yeah, have fun, guys. So we just got to hear that. And there's a good amount of pros I can think about. Oh, 
if you're constantly working, washing dishes, and you even have that glimpse of time where it's maybe five minutes at least, two minutes at most, you get into the walk-in freezer and before you walk in there, you're hot, you're full of water. It feels great to get into a walk-in freezer and just feel that fresh, cold air. Aside from being in a hot, steamy dish area with hot plates, a hot machine, steaming everywhere. Oh, it's all foggy around me. I wonder why, but it looks really rad out here. Can you see it? Not really, but... There's a lot of pros that I can think about, too, but I can't think of them right now. As for the cons, it just depends on how you feel. You gotta keep a good mindset if you're washing dishes, because it is... It's not hard, but it gets stressful at times for a lot of people. It was for me when I started people either don't put silver where it needs to go people either don't give you dishes that are cleared their food off like they'll just give you the dishes with the food still on when there's a trash can and they have to take the food off servers or whoever they may not talk to you about the cups so you have to push them over or wash them yourself and just little things but if you do it it's fine no no hassle it's just good to have good communication in the whole industry help each other out whatever I'm trying to think of what I was talking about but today's shift Wednesday it was great me and Adrian we killed it the restaurant closed at 10. We got done at 11. Everything was clean, pretty much everything. There was maybe two plates, a few things of silverware, not a lot, maybe eight things of silver, forks, knives, whatever. Two little mini containers, and that's it. That's all that was there for whoever washes dishes in the morning or whoever's there in the morning. Even though there's not a morning dishwasher, it's going to be clean. That's what I love about dishwashing. It's all clean all the time. Ugh, fuck yeah. Anyways, thank you for viewing this video. I know it's a long video, but ooh, thank you. God, I well, not thank you, but me for reminding myself in my head. After today's shift... Wednesday shift, it's Thursday right now, maybe 5 a.m., 4.45, somewhere. I always go to Old Chicago, and I went there today. I got there at like 11.20, 11.30-ish. There's new dishwashers at Old Chicago. It's not the boring me no more. Like, yeah, like I said in the other vlog. So, I got in there, the other dishwasher, whoever, whoever it was, supposedly that dishwasher was from another location, another old Chicago, and he told them, yeah, I'll go to River Point, the restaurant I work at, and help them being the dishwasher there. Everybody said he wasn't on top of it, he just was kind of slow. They kept asking him for ramekins, the little sauce thingies, uh, condiment things, ramekins, bullets. They kept asking him for silverware, plates, and you can't really be slow. Like, and, yeah, we could be slow because nobody can be fast, but you got to do it at a good pace. You got to make sure everything's on top. Nothing is running out being the dishwasher so 11 45 maybe 12 ish came around and he walked out he left 
I don't know why. I seen him there. I seen him there. When I got in there, he was washing dishes. The line cook, Phil, well, Philip, he was killing it, closing the line, cooking. That's before he cut his finger and took a good piece of meat off of his finger. He was bleeding for the rest of the night. It was, it was a trip. But that dishwasher just walked out. He didn't come back. He, he was nowhere to be found. Nowhere. So I took the liberty of me loving to wash dishes and being positive in the restaurant industry. I washed everything that he left. It was already the end of the night. The restaurant already called last call, last call for food, but he walked out. There was still a lot to be washed. There's a good amount. I stepped up, the, stepped up to the plate and killed those dishes clean. Took care of Old Chicago, the restaurant I opened. Because I didn't want to see the manager, Desiree, wash all the dishes or hear that she had to because he left and walked out. He couldn't stay an hour and a half and clean the rest of the dishes. I don't know why, but yeah. I'm happy though because you, uh, cause I cleaned two restaurants in one night. Two restaurants. It was a good night. Well, morning, whatever. It's just so crazy. Thank you guys for being here. I admire every one of you. We're all... We are all a family in the restaurant industry and in life in general. Whether you're a server, cook, expo line, caller, a runner, a busser, a silverware roller, even the managers, especially us dishwashers. Each one of us has a great part to the restaurant. We all work together. That's if we're positive and happy, have a good mood. There's no time. It's not enough, really. Time's too short in general to let little things in our life mess up our days if we work in the industry. When you work in a restaurant or wherever, you gotta go into work being positive, be happy because it's just another day, another dollar, and another kitchen. Uh, I'm happy I closed two kitchens, Texas Roadhouse and Old Chicago, in one night. Now, t tomorrow, well, today, this Thursday's vlog, Sorry if that was loud, I was scratching my face. It's gonna be pretty different, but good. Thank you guys again. If it wasn't for you. Don't forget to read the description if you want. It's long, but that's how I feel about life. In the description. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. All that jazz, all the way in the bottom of the description. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was a great day.